Hey, this is Dr. Barry. In this quick video, I want to tell you about something that even though you're eating a good diet, trying to live a good lifestyle, it can still interrupt your endocrine health. It can mess up your, your hormone levels and lead to disease and suffering. This is not something that you may have known about, but I want you to know about it. It's very important. Now, first, take one second and click the subscribe button so that every time I get a bright idea, you'll be one of the very first to know. Now, let's talk about plastics and how they can affect your health, okay? We all have probably heard about BPA, and lots of water bottles now say BPA-free, lots of cookware that you're supposed to cook your food in or warm your food up in or keep warm food in now says BPA free. Do not be lulled into a false sense of safety when you see the BPA label. There's much more to the plastic issue than just BPA, okay? BPA is, is one of the substances that was studied by the government and, and pretty much confirmed to increase your risk of cancer. It's, it's an insulin disruptor. It's a hormone disruptor. It can mess up your testosterone, estrogen balances. Not good for you at all. Definitely, you don't ever want to drink or eat anything that's been in a plastic that contains BPA. You don't want your child chewing on anything with BPA in it. But here's what you probably didn't know. BPA is just one of many, many substances in a plastic that th there are other substances that are just as bad that you've never heard of, okay? And I'm going to tell you about a few of those today and tell you how to avoid this health risk for you and your family members, both older and younger. Because, you know, when you're two and three years old, you're going to put anything in your mouth. And uh, very often I see kids at a restaurant and, and, and uh, Nisha and I, we're always having fun when we're at a restaurant. So kids turn to tend to turn around and watch us. And very often they'll be chewing on the, the back of the seat while they're looking at us and we're saying hi to them and making funny faces and stuff at them. And it really freaks me out because I know that, that the, the plastic cover on that seat in the average restaurant is not leather. It's plastic and probably contains BPA or some of the other substances I'm going to tell you about today. And so if you know someone with a young child, you really need to share this with them on their social media. Send them a text message with a link. Somehow get this to, to parents with young children because they really need to know about this health risk. You may have just seen some of my posts on social media that childhood obesity is higher now than it has ever been in the recorded history of mankind. Okay. And so that's a huge, huge deal. That's a health epidemic. That's something that everyone's going to suffer from because either you're going to be one of the obese people or you're going to be paying the taxes to take care of the obesity epidemic. So please let young parents know it's not okay for your child to chew on the back of a, of a, of a, a pleather seat or a nogger hide seat or any kind of plastic covering. That's not okay to have that in their mouth. It's not okay to have plastic toys in their mouth. Not okay at all. And here's why. You've all heard about BPA. Let me tell you about a couple of other things. One is called BPS and the other is called phthalates. And it's the weirdest word ever. You spell it P-H. T-H-A-L-A-T-E, phthalate, okay? And that's something in almost every plastic product on the planet. There is either BPA, BPS, phthalates, or some other compound that is just as dangerous, just as uh, insulin disrupting, and just as hormone disrupting as BPA, okay? So this is really, really a big deal, and you need to pay attention to this. Do not ever drink or eat food or drink that is in a plastic container if the food and drink is not is warm or is hot. Never, never eat that. Never, never drink that. I think it's probably fine to store your food in the refrigerator in a plastic container covered with plastic wrap because the low temperature of the refrigerator or the freezer stabilizes the plastic much more. But if, if the plastic is at room temperature or higher, you should never consume that drink or food, okay? And so if a water bottle has stayed in the in your vehicle over out in the sun, I don't care if it says BPA free, do not drink that water. If you if you're at a friend or a neighbor's house and they warm up some food in a plastic container covered with plastic wrap that's touching the food, you need to figure out a polite way to not eat that food. 
because that will mess with your hormones, that will mess with your insulin. Insulin is a hormone that will tend to disrupt your endocrine system, which is all your hormones. And if they're not all in balance, then you don't feel your best. Your health is not optimized. If you've got these these plastics in your system, because what they do is they either partially or completely engage with your estrogen receptors, which are all over your body. And that can lead to weight gain, that can lead to type 2 diabetes, that can lead to increased cancer risk, it can lead to all kinds of different things. And so you have to avoid plastic. If uh, if your child has plastic toys, I'm sorry, I don't know what what they've told you, but that is not okay for your baby to be putting plastic of any kind in their mouth. The little teething rings that are full of water and, and are made of plastic, I'm sorry, but that's probably not okay. That is probably leading, at least in small part, to the growing epidemic of of infant obesity, childhood obesity, adolescent obesity, teenage obesity. That those things are not good for your baby. The human species was never meant to chew on plastic that contains BPA or BPS or phthalates. Okay, and so when your baby puts that in their mouth, it may be at room temperature to start with, but it quickly heats up to body temperature. And then these things start to come out of the plastic at at a 10 times up to 100 times rate, depending on how hot the plastic gets. So please, please don't eat or drink anything that has been in plastic that has been heated. Don't use plastic wrap in the microwave. Don't ever heat up food in the microwave. Don't drink coffee in a styrofoam cup. I know that's what it's made for. And you're like, but but everybody where I work drinks it in a styrofoam cup. I don't care. Please stop doing that for your health. Please stop giving your baby warm liquids in a plastic sippy cup. If the liquid is iced, it's probably okay. Unless they're teething and they're chewing on the plastic tip, then that's, again, probably not okay. So what do you do instead? You eat and drink out of three things. Stainless steel, glass, or a wood product that is made for eating. Because some wooden bowls are not made to put food in because they have chemicals in them that will leach out. And so if you have a wooden cutting board that's made for that, that's fine to use. I probably would never, ever cut up any hot food, any hot meat or anything on a plastic cutting board. That's not okay, all right? And I know this might shake up your kitchen a little bit, but in the long run, I think it's going to be better for your health and the health of your family members, both older than you and younger than you. Now, if you if you if if this is freaking you out a little bit, I'm glad. I want you to do your research. I want you to Google BPA. but And you know that's been taken out of everything because the federal government demanded it. But nobody's talking about BPS. Nobody's talking about phthalates. Phthalates. And those are just as big a deal. I'm going to link to a book down below that's called Estrogeneration that's written by a friend of mine. He's a PhD, Anthony J. He's a researcher at the Mayo Clinic and other places, and he knows about the plastics. If, if, this is, if, you're, if you want to know more, get his book. It's a, it's a good read. You'll learn so much about how plastics can affect human health. Please share this on your social media with people that you care about so that they know about this danger as well. If you really love my videos, you can always click the Patreon link down below and throw a buck or two at me. And that gives me more time to make videos just like this, warning you about stuff that you should avoid. This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.